action. What takes place in hard times and still shimmers with glamour, with characters, both in front and in back of the camera. Complete rehearsal. What gets pounded, painted, welded, and scored? Okay, stand by. And has stained glass ceilings and marbled floors. What's crowded with extras, actors, and arcs? A little closer. What smiles <laughs> and frowns and bellows <laughs> and barks? <laughs> what has chases in strange places and magical things? Come on down. A bald billionaire and an orphan that sings. The sun will come out tomorrow. So you gotta hang on till tomorrow. What works all day long and on into the night. The party goes on forever. Let's do it once more. What takes lots of takes to get it just right? What's years in the making? It starts with an A. Of course it's Annie. It's only a dream away. Columbia and Ray Stark conducted an international search, spending more than 10 months visiting over 20 major American cities and foreign countries, seeing over 8,000 girls to find the best Annie possible. To tackle the job, Stark hired a specialist by the name of Garrison True, who along with a dozen assistants roamed the country looking for an Annie. little girls. Only nine could be chosen as semi-finalists. They were brought to Hollywood for more auditioning. One. They sang and danced under the guidance of executive producer Three. Joe Layton. to do a few steps with the producer <laughs> and were interviewed by John Houston. I'm glad to see you again. How are you? Fine. Oh, boy. Well, finally. Finally. Mm -hmm. Finally what? Finally, <clears throat> the part of the day that I wanted to come has come. I see. Since it was Christmas and all the nine finalists were so talented, Stark decided to give each of them a part in the movie. 8,000 little girls, nine hopeful semi-finalists, but only one Annie. From the moment I saw her, I thought and hoped that she would be Annie. From the very instant I first saw her, 
Miss Eileen Quinn. Annie's director, John Houston, made the announcement and then greeted his new young star, nine-year-old Aline Quinn from Yardley, Pennsylvania. What did you do as soon as you found out that you were uh, Annie? Well, first, um, Garrison True told me, and I, I wouldn't believe him. I thought he was just, you know, kidding me. <laughs> but he wasn't. <laughs> Aline, who lives with her parents, grandparents, and younger brother, has, for the last six months, been appearing in the Broadway cast of Annie but ironically, as an understudy to The Orphans. On hand, in addition to director Houston, was Carol Burnett, who will play the role of the nasty Miss Hannigan who runs the orphanage. For Burnett, it seemed to be love at first sight. Eileen, would you just get in my purse so I can take you home? I can't be mean to this kid. <laughs> Audition time has come and gone. I'm glad that's over with. We'd like to make that very clear. Boy, am I excited. When do I start? We'll need you on the set at dawn. Dawn? I better set my alarm. I'm gonna like it here, I think. Scene one will shoot from ten to four. All day long for one scene? Make sure you know your lines, my dear. Leaping lizards, look at all these pages. Your dancing lesson is at five. Gee, Hollywood sure keeps you busy. I think I'm gonna like it here. Made your start, got the part, now it's up to you. So 